The Arlito Site Museum of the Xia capital has dozens of what are called rammed earth structures and copper elements. The Xia Dynasty is considered China's first Bronze Age dynasty. The Arlito culture was a mature civilization and evolved from an ancient nation to a kingdom. An integrated dynasty was gradually formed in the central area, and Arlito became the leader of the general process of Chinese civilization. Taking the Arlito site as the center, draw a huge circle with thousands of kilometers in diameter. In this circle, we can use these kinds of wares in many places. In fact, this reflects the very powerful Arlito culture at that time and its influence on the culture of the entire East Asian region. The huge structure we are seeing now is actually one of our central elevators. Its design refers to a treasure of our museum, the bronze jue vessel decorated with spikes. Jue was a wine vessel in ancient times, widely used in Xia and Shang dynasties by aristocrats. The bronze jue vessel decorated with spikes found at the early Tou site is the earliest such vessel found so far. Its volume is the largest one we see so far, and it was one of the earliest found bronze jewel vessels in our country. This kind of ware was firstly discovered in the early Tou site. Currently, over 1,500 Xia Dynasty cultural relics are on display at the early Tou site museum. It systematically demonstrates the process of exploring Xia culture and the archaeological achievements of the site in over 60 years, since the site was firstly discovered in 1959 by famous historian Xu Xusheng and his team. As a famous Chinese historian, Mr. Xu very much wanted to prove that there were Xia and Shang dynasties in China. At the age of 71, he led a team to investigate in western Henan and southern Shanxi. When he came back to the early Tou site, some villagers said, in some places the crops are not growing very well, which is obviously different from the surrounding areas. Mr. Xu thought there might be a large Asian site. Meanwhile, the place was inconsistent with the Xia site recorded in historical materials. So Mr. Xu submitted a report to the Institute of Archaeology of Chinese Academy of Sciences when he went back to Beijing. And in 1959, an archaeological team was set to Arli Tou site and started the excavation. With continuous exploration, China as it was over 3,000 years ago was gradually revealed to people today. The central area of the city was a symmetrical complex of palace buildings, surrounded by crossed streets, and there was a sewage system using ceramic water pipes. In the north there was a sacrificial area, and in the south a handicraft workshop zone, which had China's earliest workshops of bronze ritual vessels and turquoise wares. In the museum, visitors can see another representative symbol of Xia Dynasty's splendid civilization, a turquoise inlaid dragon-shaped bronze object. This turquoise dragon is the only turquoise dragon-shaped object found at the Arlito site so far. It's 64.5 centimeters long, covered by more than 2,000 turquoise pieces of different shapes. When this tomb was discovered in 2002, the dragon was placed obliquely on the owner of the tomb, just like the owner was holding it. There was also a bronze bell in the middle of the turquoise dragon. Researchers speculated that the owner of the tomb was probably a religious practitioner because dragon flags and bells were used during sacrifice in ancient times, according to the Book of Songs. So this turquoise dragon is very possibly a flag, and the bronze bell was used to communicate with heaven and earth during sacrifice.
Therefore, the turquoise dragon excavated at the early Tou site is a most orthodox and direct source of dragon totem and dragon worship of our Chinese nation. In 2019, our little site museum of the Xia capital was open to the public free of charge. Visitors from across the country come here to travel back in time and get a glimpse of the legendary Xia dynasty. Zhang Meiyuan, CGTN.